Ever wondered why Titan, Saturn's largest moon, might be a better bet for colonization than Mars? It's a cosmic question that's been capturing the imaginations of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. For years, Mars has been touted as humanity's next frontier, our interstellar stepping stone. But what if I told you there's an even more tantalizing option out there? That's right. Tucked away in the outer reaches of our solar system, orbiting the ringed giant Saturn, lies Titan, a celestial body that could potentially outshine Mars as our future cosmic home. Why, you ask? Well, it's a fascinating story that weaves together the threads of planetary science, human ingenuity, and the relentless quest for survival. But before we delve into why this distant moon could be humanity's next big leap, Let's take a moment to clear up some misconceptions about our red neighbor, Mars. Before we dive into the cosmic depths, remember to subscribe to Vasti for more exciting space content. Mars, our red neighbor, has always been considered the first stop for human colonization. But is it truly the best choice? Let's delve into some factors that make Mars a probable candidate. First off, Mars has the advantage of proximity. It's our next door neighbor in the cosmic neighborhood, making it a relatively short trip in terms of interplanetary travel. It takes about six to nine months to travel to Mars with current technology which is not too far off from the duration of some historical sea voyages on Earth. Mars also has a similar day-night cycle to Earth with a Martian day, or Sol, only about 40 minutes longer than an Earth day. This similarity could make the adjustment to living on Mars a bit easier for human colonists, as our circadian rhythms would not need to undergo drastic changes. But before we pack our bags for Mars, Let's take a look at another celestial body in our solar system. Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Although much farther away, Titan presents some intriguing Earth-like features that make it a compelling alternative for colonization. For starters, Titan is the only other place in our solar system where we've found evidence of stable bodies of surface liquid. But instead of water, these are lakes and seas of hydrocarbons like methane and ethane. Perhaps even more importantly, Titan has a dense atmosphere, which is primarily composed of nitrogen, like Earth's. This atmosphere could provide some protection from solar and cosmic radiation, a significant concern for potential colonists. Moreover, Titan's atmosphere brings a surprising benefit. The atmospheric pressure on Titan's surface is 1.45 times that of Earth, which means humans wouldn't need pressure suits, just warm clothing and oxygen masks. So, while Mars might be closer, Titan replicates some key Earth-like conditions. This makes the journey to this distant moon potentially worthwhile, opening up new possibilities for human colonization in our solar system. What makes Titan stand out is its thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere. Now, this might not sound like much initially, but it's a game-changer when it comes to potential colonization. Why, you ask? Well, let me illustrate. Firstly, space is a hostile environment. Aside from the obvious lack of breathable air and gravity, one of the most significant hazards is space radiation. This radiation, originating from the sun and from cosmic rays, can cause serious damage to human cells, leading to an increased risk of cancer and other diseases. On Earth, we're protected from this radiation by our planet's magnetic field and atmosphere. Mars, on the other hand, lacks this protective shield, making long-term colonization risky. But here's where Titan shines. Its thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere acts as a natural barrier, capable of shielding potential colonizers from these harmful rays. It's like having a built-in radiation suit, but for an entire moon. But that's not all. This atmosphere, being rich in nitrogen, also presents an opportunity. Nitrogen is a key component of our own Earth's atmosphere, making up around 78% of it. 
If we were to extract and process the nitrogen from Titan's atmosphere, we could create a breathable environment for human settlers. It's a bit like recycling, but on a cosmic scale. Furthermore, the presence of nitrogen could also be utilized to support agriculture, enabling the growth of crops. This would not only provide sustenance for the colonizers, but also help in maintaining a balanced ecosystem, similar to what we have here on Earth. So, while the prospect of colonizing Titan might seem like a daunting one, it's not without its merits. The atmosphere of Titan, with its protective qualities and resource potential, could play a pivotal role in making this moon a viable option for future colonization. Titan's atmosphere could prove to be a lifesaver, quite literally. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, spare a thought for Titan, our potential new home in the cosmos. Did you know Titan is the only other place in the solar system with stable liquid on its surface? Yes, you heard that right. Titan, Saturn's largest moon, is a celestial body of intrigue and wonder, not least because of its liquid lakes and rivers. But these aren't your regular water bodies. Instead, they're made up of liquid hydrocarbons, ethane, methane, and even propane. Imagine standing on the shore of a lake that's not water, but liquid natural gas. Now, you might be thinking, what's the use of liquid hydrocarbons on a distant moon? Well, the answer lies in the potential they hold as a source of energy. In an era where we're constantly seeking new and sustainable energy sources, these hydrocarbon reservoirs could be game changers. Just picture this. What if we could harness these hydrocarbons, converting them into fuel for future space missions or even a potential colony on Titan? It's like having a gas station in space, a pit stop for spacecraft venturing further into the cosmos. Of course, we're not quite there yet. Extracting and converting these hydrocarbons into usable fuel presents its own set of challenges, from the extreme cold temperatures to the lack of oxygen. But the potential is there, waiting to be tapped into. And there's more. The presence of these liquid hydrocarbons also points to the possibility of a different kind of life, one that's based not on water, but on methane. It's a tantalizing prospect that could redefine our understanding of life as we know it. So, as we look to the future of space exploration and colonization, Titan's liquid lakes and rivers offer more than just a fascinating spectacle. They present opportunities for energy production, potential life forms, and a stepping stone for further space exploration. Liquid on the surface? Check. Potential energy source? Check. Titan's liquid lakes and rivers are indeed a spectacle of cosmic proportions, a testament to the wonders of our solar system and the boundless possibilities it holds. But Titan is not a paradise, there are challenges to overcome. While Titan's atmosphere and liquid reserves might seem promising, we must face the reality of the monumental challenges that colonizing this distant moon would present. Firstly, we cannot overlook the freezing temperatures on Titan. With an average surface temperature of negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit, Titan is far colder than anything we experience here on Earth. These extreme temperatures would require advanced technology and resources to ensure the survival and comfort of any potential colonists. The development and maintenance of such technology would undoubtedly be a complex and costly endeavor. Secondly, there's the issue of the vast distance between Earth and Titan. Located at a staggering 880 million miles away, communication and travel to and from Titan would not be straightforward. It would take more than seven years for a spaceship to travel from Earth to Titan, a journey that would require ample preparation and resources. Moreover, the matter of time on Titan presents another challenge. A single day on Titan lasts for about 16 Earth days. This means that any colonists would have to adapt to prolonged periods of sunlight and darkness, which could have significant impacts on both physical and mental health. Lastly, the low gravity on Titan, only about one-seventh that of Earth, could have long-term effects on the human body, 
potentially leading to muscle atrophy and bone loss. These challenges are formidable, and solving them would require massive scientific and technological advancements. However, they are not insurmountable. With the continuous progress of space exploration and technology, we are constantly expanding our capabilities and pushing the boundaries of what is possible. Despite the challenges, the potential benefits of colonizing Titan are hard to ignore. The choice between Mars and Titan isn't an easy one. Both offer unique opportunities and challenges for humanity's future in the cosmos. Mars, with its potential for terraforming and its proximity to Earth, has long been the front-runner in our imaginations. Yet, Titan, Saturn's largest moon, presents an intriguing alternative. Its dense atmosphere and liquid lakes could potentially support life, albeit life very different from our own. The future of space colonization is still unwritten. There are countless worlds in our solar system, and beyond that could one day be home to human colonies. Each potential destination, whether it be Mars, Titan, or a yet undiscovered exoplanet, will present its own unique set of challenges and rewards. The key to our future success lies in our ongoing research and exploration. As we continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge and capabilities, we expand our horizons and open up new possibilities. As we continue exploring the cosmos, who knows, maybe our future lies not on the red planet, but on a distant moon orbiting Saturn.